The nerve signals in the brainstem activate uh, the cerebral part of the brain in two ways. And um, I think uh, this was <clears throat> Dr. Kester went through this. You might have had this slide. In the absence of continuous transmission to nerve signals to the brainstem, uh, from the brainstem, the brain becomes useless. And so, talking about the activating driving systems. And, uh, you know, these, these things. You know, there are so many things out there, different things like Christopher Reeve's accident and, and Terry Schiavo when she was declared brain dead and, and so on and so forth that are very tragic examples of, you know, what's going on when the brain stem is working. That nerve system uh, interacts with the endocrine system, it controls it. We know how that happens, right? Through what, what specific area of the brain? Through the hypothalamus, that's exactly right. So, so the hypothalamus is the bridge between the nerve system and the endocrine system. The important part about that is, is that means the endocrine system is under the direct control of the nerve system. Did you follow that? Now what I'm getting ready to show you is how the nerve system is in direct control of the immune system. How many would like to know that diagram and how that works? Okay, first off, we need to talk about stress and stress Here's adaptation. Here's the locus right here. That's the locus ceruleus. When it get, receives input from the thalamus or uh, the amygdala or the NTS, or actually, the uh, locus ceruleus has inputs from almost everywhere. And also releases its, its neurotransmitter almost everywhere. So anytime it gets a, it, something that would require an adaptation response, immediately, it will release norepinephrine. Now, when norepinephrine goes...